Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move around chunks of audio, rearrange a song, insert time for an intro, things like that. So this project is just a simple song demo. I have a, an intro a verse section, some a second part of a verse section, and a chorus section. I'll play it back for you. All right, so for this song, I want to extend the intro, I want to extend the verse, and I want to duplicate the chorus. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Your first instinct might be to use ripple editing to move the song over, and sometimes that works. For me, I like to start a song at bar 11. And then that gives me plenty of room to add an intro later. So in this case, ripple editing for all tracks works just how we like it. If we wanted to do that here, you'll see that not all the tracks moved at the same time, because this one had a little crossfade. So that's something to be aware of, and it's not always the best way to do things. So I'm going to bring this back to the start and show you another way, the way that I like to move tracks around. If I make a selection from bar 1 to 11, that's 10 bars, as you can see here. If I right-click in the ruler, I can use this function, insert empty space in selection. That moves everything over by that exact amount. It's much less fiddly than using the uh, ripple editing. You can also do that within a section. So let's say this section. So right here, if I want to add in another four bars, just right click, insert space, and that will just split everything and shove it over. For this I'm going to command click and drag this out to bar seven. So it's solo guitar, then the bass comes in, and then these drums come in, and then Let's duplicate this section. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to make a selection, right click, and choose Create Region from Selection. And you get this green bar at the top. Now, the color may be different depending on the theme you're using. With a region, you can move around chunks of audio, a lot like ripple editing. So notice this cursor here, this green bar under my mouse. That shows you the insert point. There's a drag and drop, and that will move around that section of audio. I'm going to undo, because that's not where I want it. If you hold down Command or Control on the PC, you'll see a little plus sign. So I'm just going to duplicate it like that. And then I can remove both regions by alt clicking. All right, so let's see what we have here now.
Okay, I think that works a lot better now. I hope you did notice that some of the fades got messed up when I used the region. I'm not sure if that's a, a bug in this version of Reaper, or if it's always been like that, but uh, I definitely noticed it today. Okay, so I've showed you the insert time function. Let me show you the delete time function. So let's make a selection. Let's make a two bar selection. If I right click and choose uh, remove contents of selection moving later items, that will cut that section out and shove everything over. That's a lot like if I, let's say if I was in ripple editing for all modes and then hit delete. It's a lot like that, but it's a lot more precise. The last thing I want to do is take this and then duplicate it to over there. I'm going to create a region, command click, drop it over there, and then just double check that my fades are OK. Yeah, probably OK. All right, so now the song goes from here. So that's a lot closer to the song idea that I had in mind. I think this arrangement works a lot better. And now I can move on to tracking more instruments. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you've found this useful. I hope you've learned something. I hope you can speed up your workflow. Once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like the video if you liked it, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Thanks.